This is Coach Karan Godwin, and these are the Ball Hall Glove X Factor. They take away the natural grip of the ball, forcing your hands and fingers to work overtime. The D-cone is the perfect complement to the Ball Hall Gloves. Whether you want to work on your ball handling with cone drills, shooting with a hand in the face. For drills, follow at Coach Godwin on Instagram and go to ballhoggloves.com. On a mile 52 degree day in Milwaukee, it will be another packed house at BMO Harris Bradley Center, and they are pumped up. As you can hear, Bucks excitement very much back in this city with a fan fest taking place just outside the building. It's the number three seed, the Toronto Raptors, and the sixth seed, Milwaukee Bucks, game four. Passed on a three and then knocks it down. A good sign there for the Raptors. It's certainly the case with Tony Snell. Here's the loser able to knock it down, and that has to feel good after the 0 for 8. The other night, it's only and DeRozan got the step on Snell, works his way inside for his second field goal. Another tough run by Snell with help from Della Badova and is able to hit. So we're seeing DeMar DeRozan get swing it. DeRozan, DeMar DeRozan, DeRozan got the step and hits the reverse. Yes, and the foul, what a move. Unbelievable move there, Marv. Knowing that DeRozan had Giannis chasing him down on the right side, he swoops all the way to the other side on the reverse. All right, Toronto, back in possession. DeRozan with a rainbow. So the touch has returned for DeMar DeRozan. He now has 13 points. He's DeRozan sidestepping Snell, taking to the rim and scores. How tough are those shots, Mark, so far? DeMar DeRozan's expecting arms and legs on every attempt, but showing you. And the pass intercepted by DeRozan, who was blocked. Foul is called on Snell. This first half, DeRozan with the foul. Ten of the 12 here in the second quarter, and DeRozan, who has been on fire here in the second quarter, scores again to tie the game. Loving the fact that both the key players are getting the job done here as we close the second quarter. Giannis trying to go behind the back and it, it cost him. All right, thank you, John. This is Ibaka again. Well, finding Serge Ibaka on the perimeter, a point of emphasis for the Raptor coaching staff. That's just tough right there. Thon Maker backing up a little bit, so can't get vertical to challenge the shot. Tomorrow with another nice finish. Front Valentinus who now moves outside. They open up space down low. Here's DeRozan. How tough is that, Marv? I mean, he has Brogdon all over him, and it was at DeMar DeRozan's pace that he was able to go up and knock down that eight-footer. Second round draft pick as DeRozan takes to the rim. Is that a second round draft pick? One rookie of the year honors, as you see the scene at Jurassic Park outside the Air Canada Center in Toronto. Brogdon at that selection, 36 overall, Marv, would be the only second guy. Seven, Willie Salisbury won the Rookie of the Year as the 60th pick as Norman Powell is able to tee one up from the left side. But Brogdon in position as the 36th pick to do that. Right now, no concern about the Rookie of the Year. It's about how to oh. slow down this Toronto offense. But Woody Salisbury, Lowry open for three. Yes. Kyle Lowry now five for ten. He throws it off the puck fake. And he draws the foul. Rosen into the corner. And Powell with a big shot. Norman Powell from the left-hand corner to open up a 10-point lead. And that quiets this crowd. Tightly by Snell. Pulls it up for the jumper. Yes! When you see the reaction by DeMar DeRozan, he's feeling it now. Tough jumper over Snell. Making 31 points for DeRozan. A convincing finish for the Raptors to win it. 87 to 76. Thanks, Marv. DeMar, congratulations. The Raptors came in here a desperate team. Things were all tied up at the half. Where did this team find an advantage in the second half? We was aggressive on both ends. We got stopped when we needed to. We executed when we needed to. And we kept it up for 48 minutes. And we got the win. Speaking of being aggressive, you certainly were defensively on Giannis Atetokounmpo, holding him to 14 points. How did you contain him? It was a team effort. 
you know, uh, five guys locked in, understanding the coverages, how we was going to guard them, be physical, you know, work tonight. What a different game for you. 33 points versus last game when you were held scoreless from the field. What changed? It won't happen twice. Never happen twice. Thanks so much and enjoy this win. Congratulations. Thank you.